Hello, and welcome back to Escape from Pripyat. We could just do Escape from Pripyat. No more stalker. No more stalking. Stalking is out. Stalking is cancelled. Um, so, we are, um, we've got a new quest. Uh, I did, I, I checked some boxes and, uh, did a little bit of stuff in between the last in this episode as i do you know i like to try and cut out the, some of the fat but i've been looking through the videos and man i don't do as good a job as i i like to think but uh, there's a lot of inventory management in these episodes and i probably apologize for it way too much but at the same time i'm still doing it and it's still probably pretty boring and i'm sorry I mean, I'm, not, I'm probably still not going to do anything to change that, but, you know, uh, you can take my apology to the bank, and, you, I mean, you can't cash it in. You can't do anything with it, in fact. It's literally worth less than money. I'm pretty sure you'll owe the bank. But what you can do is um, you you can feel okay and and cut me some slack and hey um i'd like to think that i mean i know there there's a lot of channels that cover stalker and uh you know i'm not gonna necessarily give myself a pat on the back for doing stalker content um but i do like to remind myself that i, I you know some of these games i play they're a little bit well i'm not gonna say that stalker is niche it's not but at least this version of it is a bit more niche on the niche end oh my god This is not what I intended. Didn't even check to see what uh, what our quest was. Man, I really hate switching to a gun and I didn't load it last time. Or I did load it last time and it didn't work properly. Like I, I get gaslit in this game sometimes. Yo, I'm shooting right at him, though. God damn. Some of these dudes, they do take a lot of shots to kill. There's more, I assume. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There. No, still more. Is that it? No. Good God. All right. I'm still hearing more. Okay, so that was neutralization is complete. Man, that sucked. All right, let's uh, patch up our head. Uh, that was that was my bad. You know what really sucks? I might want to load honestly, because uh, oh, we didn't take too much damage. We took a little bit of damage, but not too much damage. I I uh, I really don't like having to repair the um, the exoskeleton suit. Although I did buy another um, repair kit, and you know we're getting to the point with money in this game where it doesn't really matter. There's not a lot of things to spend our money on. Um, I, I've pretty much bought everything. So we're good. I don't have to worry. Um, we're gonna get a bunch more stuff and money right now. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about this. Man, I really hope that body is not... Oh god, we gotta take some pills. Okay, hold on a second. Pull out the tracker. Man, it is like right in there, isn't it? And that's one of the good bodies, too. Pretty sure I can't get that one. Oh, maybe I can. Yeah, I can. Where there's a will and greed, there is a way. Definitely gonna take that bandage, gonna take some of that stuff, and um, here's the... Here's the uh, inventory management. I mean, I'll do a pause. We can do a pause. Be right back. Alright. That's done. Um, so I've been told, 
gonna make a quick trip. Um, is there anything to do in the cordon? Oh wait, there's one more body. Oops, I missed a body. Man, all of the bodies are in anomalies. It's really kind of a problem. Okay, hold on. Oh god. I don't. I, I don't think I can get get that one. To be honest. Oh, I managed to get it. Nice. Okay. Man, this was this was uh, annoying. Okay. Well, I think we got it all. All right, we're we're good. Um, I've been told that there's a way to turn off like some of the animations. Is this a thing we have to do? Kill the stalker. All right, let's kill the stalker. Uh, I guess there's going to be an admission, so probably the stalker will be coming to us. If I'm, if I'm uh, guessing. I'm also, unfortunately, because it's near this hangar, I am... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I pressed exactly the wrong button. I accidentally used my serve for no reason. Um, I'm guessing because it's near this hangar, there's going to be like a group of bandits. Oh, that dog just got very unlucky. So, in theory, they're, like, over there. Pretty sure that is them in, in the, uh, tunnel. Let me see. If they pop their head again, I'm just gonna shoot them. Um, I don't know if I, I did this on camera last time, but I have switched, um, our magazines a bit. I, I no longer use, uh, any of the quick-loading mags. I exclusively use... What, 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 what? Okay. Renegade. They, they just like came right in, huh? Hold on a second. Uh, I don't use any of the quick loading mags anymore. I didn't like them to begin with. Um, but uh, I've, I've, uh, I have two large magazines now. That is a bandit. They're now no longer a bandit. They are now a corpse. But yeah, um, it just made sense to me. It was uh, something I was probably always going to do. So we only have uh, we we only have large magazines now, which I I, I like the large magazines. Uh, they take a little bit longer to load, but uh, that's fine. I also, I guess, um, I think I covered this, but I don't know if I did, so I'm just going to go over some of my... I guess that emission isn't happening. I thought there was going to be an emission. Um, oh, my, my dude's almonds are activated, so I'm assuming that there is a bandit nearby. Let's just go ahead and load some of our guns. Um, yeah, we have a rupture resistance uh, artifact and a ballistic resistance um, artifact. I think that does help quite a bit, and you can see our, our, our rupture resistance is at like 50%. Um, that's in combination with our uh, exoskeleton. And um, I guess our ballistic resistance is at like 100%, so I'm not sure if that means that we can just like deflect bullets like some freaking Neo. Um, oh, there's our dude. All right, he's dead. <laughs> Uh, but sorry, I've been told that I can turn off animations for um, crafting. This is something I want to check out real quick. Uh, I can we, we're gonna hand in our quest, but I really want to see if this is true. Um, if it is true, I'm gonna cry because um, I've been playing. I've played probably 50 hours of this game now, maybe even more. Probably maybe even 100 hours of this game, and. Uh, I never, I, I, I didn't see, like, I, I have looked through the options pretty extensively, but I never saw an option to turn off, like, crafting animations. I've heard about animations in regards to, like, healing and stuff. I left those on intentionally because, um, I think they do kind of add something to the game. Mostly, um, they, they add the, the need to, like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to heal yourself, like, in the middle of a combat is really all I'm, 
uh, I'm concerned of. Like, I should have to find cover. Like, I, when it comes to, like, mechanical quality of life, I have certain lines that I don't want to cross. And, you know, certainly one of them is uh, I don't want to make combat significantly easier for myself. Um, just, like, you know, uh, crafting and stuff like that. Because, like, it doesn't make sense to me to make it take real time. Uh, it, it would make sense to me for it to take in-game time. But anyway, I'm going to try this. Someone was saying, I think it's left bracket. If not right bracket. Mm. Items, animations are disabled. <sighs> um, let, me, let me see if this is going to work here. Oh my god. Oh my god, I could have saved so much time. It still kicks you out of the workshop, but my god, that's that's so much time spent. That is so much time spent that I did not need to spend. And oh uh, man, I I I cannot believe that I spent so much time crafting and every single time I crafted the dude had to like I don't know, do something remove his lower rib or something i don't know like it, it's just it, oh man oh man i can't i can't believe that i can't believe that listen you know um you can i guess you can come at me if you want um about this one like you know oh you should have known or you could have you looked through you didn't look hard enough um, there's fairly good documentation for this game when it comes to, uh, some stuff, like some stuff. I think it, I should, I'm just going to say some stuff like, it, you know, like when it t comes to how you repair your gear, um, that stuff is well documented. Um, that stuff has uh, good documentation, but like, I still don't know how to like transmute an artifact um i didn't know I, like i don't know how to turn off certain things i don't know how to turn on certain things and um it's just difficult to look those things up and you can look at you, you can look up uh how to do those things um but like searching for anything stalker is is kind of tricky because uh there's like 13 different versions of it now and um so there is some overlap and then uh, uh you know there's there's other uh less overlap but anyway <sighs> anyway <laughs> um i do wonder if the uh, that animation I i'm glad it's a button because if if this also removes like healing animations then i might um turn it back on after i'm done uh crafting stuff like this really offers me no advantage you know it not taking actual hours doesn't really offer me any extra advantage um oh yeah we're gonna make this uh this stuff so i'm making some bullets this is some cost effective bullet making actually you know the fact that i'm making bullets right now is testament to the fact that it's it you know the animations don't take forever so now um i am out of if x i'm actually gonna move the car over what i would like to do i'm gonna save and i'm gonna see okay all right I, I, now i'm gonna load all i wanted to know was do are there still healing animations i might also check to see if there are loading animations i know it prob i think it said um you know remove crafting or or uh disable crafting animations but like i just wanted to be sure that it's not like significantly changing the the major mechanics of the game thank you very much you know what while while we're low well, uh, actually um i, I don't want to do anything while the game loads in fear of it cra uh, crashing so what i'll do is i'll do a quick pause um virtues 16 hooded um thank you so much for that comment i'll, I'll, I'll uh, probably add a direct reply to it as well um, but like probably one of the best um, little tips ever um, and if I do tutorialize this game I'll definitely include it in my like getting started with this with this game because hot damn hot damn you should just turn that off right away why is that on by default why 
Don't come at me with like, oh, well, it adds to the immersion. No, it doesn't. No, it actually doesn't. <laughs> it just adds to the annoyance. And I, oh, God damn, the amount of actual hours. Oh, God. I, I, man. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I've, I've had this problem before where it, it pretends to fast travel, but it doesn't. I'm going to do another load. Um, we're going to be going to the clear sky base. There's a reason for this. Um, I have my next story mission for some reason is to acquire a PMM. Um, this is something I, I actually looked up. Uh, fetch quests are, aren't really good at the best of times. They're especially not good in Stalker because a lot of it is a little bit luck based. However, um, I, I did find out that the PMM can be acquired uh, potentially easily um, asterisk with um, it, it's a it's a difficult um, item to acquire um, it's it got some uh, quite a lot of um, it's got a reputation actually it's a, it's a very difficult p pistol to acquire unless you have like very good reputation with certain factions one of those factions being uh, clear sky I think um, some, like I say, some of the overlap is going to be better than others. Um, but I think that this is one of those cases where it may work. It m may, may work. Like, there's a reason there's overlap. I am genuinely playing, like, Stalker. There's, uh, about, you know, there's over 300 mods stacked on top of it. But it is still Stalker. So this should still work. Um... And I should be able to buy a PMM for from Clear Sky. I think we'll see. Um, hopefully, that'll just be able to progress the story a bit more. All right. Ooh, I hate when it does that. Um, so we're gonna see if we can't um, buy a gun here. I, it occurs to me. Okay, there there is a guy that sells guns here. I forgot about this guy. All right. We're we're hungry and thirsty. We'll deal with that in a second. Actually. Let me just, uh, I'm not going to do any cooking. Oh, are cooking animations gone too? <gasps> oh my god. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I don't have to sit through cooking animations anymore. Oh, it's so nice. Oh my god. Oh, god damn. That is so nice not have to not it's it's almost too fast i'm like not used to it i can actually cook in in a in a in a recording without having to pause the the, the recording my god oh i i really like i wish i can i get a redo please can i just get like a redo the entire series um because like my my god um I'm sorry. I, I like I I need a moment. Um, all right. So is there a PMM here? Um, I don't know. I think that's that's a PM. Uh, my reputation with Clear Sky is very good, but it looks like this guy doesn't have it. There is just the um, potential that he doesn't have one. So that's really unfortunate if that's the case. Um, because, like, uh, it's just complete RNG if he's got one or not. We'll sell whatever this is. What is this? Boar pelt. Yeah, let's sell that. Um. No, oh, let's sell some of this stuff. Actually, is that Chimera, claw? Uh, chimera Horn? Let's keep the Chimera Horn. Boar Fang, we can sell uh, Cat Claw, and we'll sell... We'll, we'll keep the Chimera Claws. Okay, sell everything else. Um, all right, well, there is a backup plan. Apparently the military um, tends to use the PMM quite a bit. So uh, I, one, I saw some, one person saying that they, they got it by uh, hanging out in Agriprom, which um, there is one military base in Agriprom, and um, there's also a stash that I've been needing to acquire there for eons so you know why why not um check check a box but yeah uh, apparently it's a very common uh, pistol for for military and hey you know i might get really lucky and it might be a gun in the uh the um the stash there's a couple stashes that we can collect here so 
it's it's yeah i don't like these quests i was actually very very um like grateful when um when that uh one story quest got kind of swapped out the one that was like oh can you please acquire a specific artifact the itcher artifact because my god that was going to probably uh like completely stonewall this this series for I, I don't know many many episodes because I I was like I don't know where to get that artifact I don't know where it's likely to appear it's something I'm gonna have to look up and uh, it, it is kind of an RNG based thing because you know it's not a for sure thing if artifacts are gonna be at their designated um, anomaly and also the anomalies are RNG based must be said like at least in the version I'm playing right now, is uh, anyway, our stash is like right here. That's kind of nice. The um, uh, anomalies are are not guaranteed to be in the same place every time. I don't like picking up those powder cans. They they tend to be very heavy. So so that's one stash taken care of. Um, let's drink some water. I don't mind that there's like eating and drinking animations. That's fine. Um, I think that's totally fine, and I'm I'm cool with that. I just don't like I don't like the crafting animations. Like I did it. Um, I suff. I think I, it's fair to say I suffered the um, the crafting animations long enough to 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 you know suggest that. I, I, you know, I did it. I don't have to do it anymore. So, like, it really is just a, a, a bad thing. I, I'm sure there's people out there that are gonna disagree that it adds something. You know, let's let me just like say it's it's you know let's fly it. I'll be kind and, and fly it under opinion, but I think this, that it's egregious enough that it's almost like a, objectively uh, a negative on the game. But, um, yeah, let's, let's not, I guess I, I, I shouldn't argue about these things, but, uh, someone just saw me. Something saw me for a moment. So we're in Agriprom. Uh, I haven't been in Agriprom for a while. The last time I was in Agriprom, I believe I said I hate Agriprom. I'm not sure if I do hate Agriprom. I think Agriprom's fine now. Like, we've got so much nice stuff i should have repaired my exoskeleton while i was uh at the farm i know just that little tiny tick it, it's it's enough to make a difference believe it or not because like look fully repaired this thing offers 44 percent ballistic resistance not that it matters we're still at 100 apparently um but like when armor gets damaged it um it, it does not offer this you know the same amount of protection anymore so our dude's gonna run in there. Um, he's 100% gonna get killed. That helicopter over there is gonna make its way over here soon enough. If I don't get a PMM from this, then good lord. Like... Uh... Do I... Did I run out of pills? Okay, let's put bandages on there then. Um, that, that anim uh, helicopter is kind of staying put, which is really nice. My dude. Another one down. 
There's the one to my right. Oh god, they're throwing grenades. Pretty sure grenades are the one thing that can really do some damage to me. Okay, here comes the helicopter. There's someone to my right and I can't see where they are. I am so sick and tired of switching to this gun and it's empty. It's always empty is because I never fill it. I never reload it My friend's long dead by the way in case you missed that Um, or we need to bandage I kind of want to just like run in there. So I have some cover from the helicopter I'm gonna have to reload this gun No, we're looking for a PMM. Um, yeah, none of that is useful. Oh, let's, um, actually, yeah, let's take, let's put an armor insert. Oh, we don't need uh, rad resistance right now. We need, we need ballistic resistance for sure. I think I've, I've got a moment right now. Um, let's serve. Oh god. Yeah, I, I appreciate you doing that, honestly, bud. Got a bandage. I was hoping to load my magazine while I was in here. Not sure if I want to save. I, I'll save. Okay. Um. Yeah, there's more coming. How much do we have in this? We, this gun is always empty. All right, let's put uh, some slugs in here. At least it's fast loading. I hear you. I hear you, dude. I think I got like a double kill there. Yep. The, uh, helicopters out there. Helicopter is going to be a real problem for sure. I don't have any means of, of dealing with that. Where are you? Man, one shot. Makes, is making me bleed. There's someone out there, but I, I can't see where. Okay, that's one more down. Oh, shoot. He's a, he's a little bit stuck right now. Uh, 
All right, we're we must be getting pretty close. I saw something saw me, but that, that might be the helicopter. And it's a real pile of bodies right now. I'm going to take a moment and load our magazine. Oh. oh every time. Oh, that's another one. Okay, save. God, there's a lot of them. I know this is like a, a very large base. But there's a lot of them. It's a good thing I have uh, a lot of ammo and a lot of um, variety of guns. Oh my god, there's still more. Yeah, there's that helicopter. You go through some of this stuff. Another one down. Save. Uh. Okay. Groza. That was a nice gun, actually. Um, oh my god, you're alive? I wonder how many of these guys are actually alive and they're just like lying on the, on the ground. Wish I could deal with that helicopter. Sunset is beautiful. Yeah, all right, bud. I feel like that animation is a lot quicker now. Oh, that was a mistake. There's a bunch of them coming. Oh, God damn it. Where is it? Oh, it's right above. I don't know if there's like, uh, you know, a limit. I know you can shoot them down with um, a helicopter or sorry, a helicopter. I know you can shoot them down with uh, a rocket launcher, but I don't have a rocket launcher. I don't even have a grenade. Like I do have a grenade. I don't have like a, a launch launchable grenade. Okay, we need to load her. Or shotgun. I need to load all my guns, actually. This is the problem with uh, relying on two large magazines instead of some intermediary intermediary uh, magazines. Okay, this is going to take a minute. Remember, this is, this is actually very peppy uh, compared to where it would normally be because of um, all of the perks I have for loading and unloading magazines. This is this is actually quite to uh, quite quite quick. It's a good thing we have like a ton of ammunition. Um, 
190 kilograms. I'm definitely, you know, pretty heavy right now. Okay, let's load that up. And then we're going to load this magazine up. I think I, I'm not hearing any voices. I am hearing a little bit of gunfire, but I don't know if that's in the base. Um, I could do a save and uh, see if I could just like put an entire magazine of bullets into that helicopter and see if it takes it out. Oh, and of course this magazine only has four bullets in it. Uh, okay. All right, we're fully loaded. Where's the helicopter? Oh, if it actually just flew away, that would be ideal. Um, there is a body here that I haven't gone through. Ah, here we go. Oh, the helicopter is right there. Well, let's do a save and maybe I can get lucky and, and uh, loot these guys without it noticing me. It does have kind of a cooldown. Like, after enough time, it will just kind of, like, chill. Okay. Um, 39. I don't like how close it is, obviously. If I see that detection bar go up, then I am going to book it. Because that means that it's getting aggroed. No PMM yet. I swear to God, if I don't get a PMM from this, that would suck. All of this resources, time spent, completely wasted. Like we'll get stuff from it, but we, I need, I, I'm here for a purpose. Look at all the bodies. Amazing. Uh, no PMM yet. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty common amongst the military. It might be that only military in certain areas carries it. Oh, we got some, we got some ammo here. Oh, and some really decent stuff, actually. Um, but not what we're looking for. 45, always gonna grab the extra 45. Um, don't know if I, I don't think I want the environmental kit. Good money, but we don't have the storage space right now. Like I said, we have everything we need. Um, I will take that piece of cloth. Stuff like cloth weighs like nothing. Um, take the money. I'll take grenades because they're they're worth quite a lot um, compared to how light they are. Like they're a good uh, weight ratio. APS upgraded, not a PMM. My God, I am not finding. I am not finding a PMM right now. <laughs> I, like this is uh, this is fine. If I don't find it, it's not the end of the world. I'll just have to look somewhere else. But this is uh, this is why I don't like fetch quests. Is that it? Oh, we found it. Oh, please don't aggro the, the stupid helicopter. one dude left here and uh because like as soon as you kill another military dude they'll call in for help again it's really annoying i do appreciate like after x amount of time playing this game i do have methods for different creatures 
uh, and you know the helicopter I, I, I consider it an environmental uh, hazard at this point it doesn't it doesn't act like I mean it doesn't make sense to me that the military has this like a ton oh that was just a bush it just sounded spooky um autonomous helicopter in the air at all times it doesn't make sense to me do you have any idea how much money it costs to keep a, a helicopter in the air like the amount of um money it costs to refuel a helicopter or keep a helicopter fueled is astronomical Especially a military helicopter. What is this? Bloodsucker jaw. Well, that's nice. Uh, pseudo dog fur. Pseudo dog fang. I don't know. This stuff is uh, heavy and it's not worth very much, so I'm not going to pick it up. Um, we are reaching the end of the line. I'm really glad I got the PMM because, good lord, um, apparently only one military in this entire, like, base was carrying it we'll definitely take the energy drink is that food no that's a coffee cup um we can grab that that's nimaroff vodka i don't know if there's anything in here for us it's a, i'd say one of my few complaints about this um this i don't know this version of stalker is there's really not a lot of reward for exploring there's definitely a lot of reward for killing um you get quite a lot of good stuff for killing but there's not a lot of like things to, to root around in you know like i i all things considered a lot of resources was spent um wiping this base out you know and uh, I just think that it should be worth it to the player. There should be something, some reason to, to explore this zone. And, you know, not just to pick up some extra ammo. Oh, we have a workshop here. That's kind of cool. Um, you know, there, I, I'd, you know, ideally uh, for, you know, making exploration very worth it for a player is to offer something unique. I wonder if this uh, building counts as being, yeah, stay sheltered. It actually does count as, sh as shelter, so that's nice. What is that? Oh, it's a grooming kit. Really, I, I don't think I've ever, I haven't really made use of the grooming kits. Like, this stuff that I'm picking up, it's not what I'm talking about, just to be clear. Like, I'm not talking about grooming kits, and I'm not talking about, like, shoe polish or fine polish. Um, it's nice. But it's not really worth the time spent, you know, taking on an entire base like this. You know, I, I want to find blueprints for some kind of like novel military spec gear. Um, I, I, finding the gear itself, that's fine. Like you could, you could give me some blueprints and then, you know, I can make it myself in that way. There's, you know, reasons for the player to continue doing stuff and exploring, right? That's that's the best case scenario. But um, I, I just think that there's there's very little in in terms of reward for the player to explore areas. There's not a lot of you know nooks and crannies, and there's not a lot of reward in those nooks and crannies. So, personal opinion, but. I guess, you know, if you want to, um, if you want to explain it, and I don't think it needs an explanation, but if you really want to, um, I think that you could say, well, you know, the place has already been picked clean. In terms of the military, they're already carrying all their best stuff. I, don't know, I think that's lame, to be honest. And besides, I always think that, um, I usually make the argument that um realism doesn't necessarily make for interesting gameplay i know that that's uh kind of 
ironic coming for me when I'm playing this like immersion mod but like I think that's true um I think that uh you know you can have immersion in a game and you can have realism in a game but I think at a certain point a game should generally compromise um realism for the sake of interesting and compelling gameplay because the most compelling gameplay, at least in my opinion, um, for, for a player, is not something that would occur in nature, you know? It's like a very kind of like staggered reward, uh, staggered challenge, um, staggered moments of, of quiet and uh, uh, of, of peace and to give the player, you know, a moment to, to you know, collect their resources and, and craft and, and do what they need like you it's it's a mix of all of it if if it was always run if it was always gun if it was always craft if it was always exploration um then you know it wouldn't be as satisfying you know you have to have a a, a gentle mix of all of them I'm wondering um if i can travel while there's an emission probably i shouldn't oh there's a there's a stash here this is part of the reason why i'm here um I think, uh, I think the emission is still going. Uh, you know, in real, in real life, you, like, you know, we're talking about the zone in real life, but, like, you know, nature doesn't really, um, necessarily give you a break in the same way that a game would. It's, it's not going to offer you moments of, of, uh, solace. It's, uh, it, it might, it might just destroy you, <laughs> like, must be said it might just like throw the most unforgiving like miserable hazards at you and and wipe you out with a little mercy and uh you know you, you can't even really complain about it um, so I'm assuming the stash is on this can. Do I have to like jump off this tower? Is that what we're doing here? I feel like that is what we're doing here. What a, what a weird place for a stalker to hide stuff. Do the military count as stalkers at this point? I swear to God, if that was a PMM, I was going to absolutely flip a car. Okay, so this is a, this was a stash that I couldn't collect basically since the beginning of, of the game. Um, oh, there's another military man. Oh. Um, where did y'all come from, exactly? Is that 40? Is this 45? Every time I think it's 45, it's 39. Were you guys here or did you spawn? 39. Y'all love your 39. Where are my 45 homies at? Sick of y'all. Sick y'all and your 39, uh, like, fan, fandom. I bet you this is like, uh, if you start the game as military, this is a, a place where you can, like, buy stuff. Oh man, those things just like never seem to have anything. I know I can get through this. Is there a reason to? Yeah, I mean, there's a thing right there.
Ugh, you know what? Not worth it. Okay, um, I'm gonna go back to the farm. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff I didn't collect. I don't care. Um, I'm gonna go back to the farm real quick because I want to repair my, um, my exoskeleton and recoup some of my stuff. Maybe make some more bullets if the guy has some more, um, bullet, uh, ingredients, then, then I'll go ahead and make some more bullets and then we'll head off to, um, I can't remember who it was that even wanted the PMM, but I think they're like very far north, even like, um, up, up near, like at the ship. Uh, so we'll hand that in and then we'll take our next story quest and, uh, that'll probably be the epi the end of the episode, but, uh, I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, like we've gotten a lot done in this episode, please. No bandits. Oh God. The farm is cursed. I swear to God. There always be bandits at the at the farm. Honestly, I I only have this the 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 one sale the seller to blame. The dude who sells me all my ingredients, he is to blame. Cause like, what are you doing, dude? I have supplied you with all of your tools. What are you doing? Like breaking bread with bandits. And I know that that they're cool because they just kind of hang out outside. So like what's going on here you know like I, I think i have a right to be a little bit annoyed uh about this because uh you know i i as i say i i have done my level best to to supply you and uh and, and you know like what just like what what you you're gonna you're gonna have bandits over for dinner and uh and what am i supposed to do with it like i just like they you know it's not like they're cool with me so I just have to kill them every single time. And there's, you know, that's not good for your business. Every time, dude. So let's grab this um, exo box and the helmet box. I can repair the helmet um, without using a box, but I don't care. Oh, those ball peens are actually very good. I really wish they weren't called ball peens, but uh, they are. They're called ball peens. Hmm. That's right, I don't have to wait anymore. I don't have to wait anymore while it repairs. Oh my god. It's still good. It's still, like, amazing. Um, let me pull out... I think I have some more ball peens in here. Oh, I don't have any more ball peens? Oh, I do. I do have some ball peens. It sure is starting to sound like I maybe I actually do like the fact that they're called ball peens. Repaired the item without spending the use of repair kit. I love that, especially when you when you roll all cherries on the on the using the exosuit repair kit. I had an exosuit repair kit that had one slot, like one one notch left in it, one use, and I used it like four times before before it finally uh, gave out. Wow, is this this thing is like not it's not okay. But the 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 main thing is that the um the actual ex uh, the actual exoskeleton or whatever the skeleton part is good. Um it's at 97, that's the main thing. Um so we can actually we can repair the rest of it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Um sorry, I know. I know. Um But, you know, it's my exoskeleton. It's kind of important. Um, it being lower durability is going to cost me time. I could do... It. You know what? Let's, um... Oh, I should have been over there a little bit. Um, let me see. I think uh, what I want to do... There's n literally nothing left for me to spend these kits on. Uh, the weapon kits... Like, if I decide I want a different weapon kit then sure, but I am pretty sure I have everything on the exoskeleton now, and I don't think that there's another, like, I don't think there's more, uh, a better piece of armor past the exoskeleton. I could be wrong, but I don't think that there is. 
You know what? Let's just uh, let's just repair the stupid thing. Um, oh, I can't because all of my stupid repair stuff is in the other stash. So I got to play this juggling act now. Um, all right, let's just let's just throw all of this back over there, and then you know what? I am gonna do a pause. I'm I'm sorry. You don't need to see any of this. I'll be right back. Okay, that went much much smoother than I uh, anticipated. I actually uh, I forgot the crafting of like all of the components that make up my um, my exoskeleton, and instead I've I've opted for a fairly more elegant solution, which is to just uh, make repair kits. You can make exo repair kits, and um, it, they're they're pretty cost uh, cost effective, I think. Um, you can buy a bunch of these heavy sewing kits, and I mean, it will uh, it'll, it'll cost you some money, but um, it's not any less or more, I think, than just buying the exosuit. And if you've got spare parts lying around, then you can do that. Anyway, um, let's throw these ball peens back into the chest, because they actually weigh quite a bit, I think. Uh, how much do these weigh? Yeah, six kilograms total. That's a lot. Um, you don't have to take my word for it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead... Uh, I didn't, um, I, I wanted to check to see if the guy had any ammo ingredients. I really should have done that while I was paused. Uh, I guess I did, so, but did I, I, I don't think I made ammo. I can always use more ammo. You, you can always use more ammo. Don't, don't ever skimp on making ammo. So, uh, we don't have enough, we don't have any of that. So, I guess, um, his stock... Did not replenish because I apparently I did not buy anything. Yeah, okay. All right, so with that being done, we are, I mean, we're a little bit hungry and thirsty, but that's fine. Let's head, I guess we're going to, yeah, okay. We're, we're heading to just to the bar to, to get a, um, the, give the PMM to, uh, to Mangun. Mangun. Mangun needs a PMM. I'm not sure what we're doing. Like, what is the story right now? It just seems to be like, you know, go to all the people you know, go to all of the friendlies in the in the world, and like give them something. Do a do a task for them. It's almost like um, the game is kind of gating the late game or the end game behind uh, like reputation. Like you have to have a certain amount of reputation in order to. Um, you know, get to the next part. I've, I've been pretty careful about reading at all of the dialogue, but I, I don't know if maybe I missed something. But either way, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna try and check every box. Um, as I have to say, with that, the, uh, the change of not having animations for crafting, pretty sure this series has, has just been rejuvenated, because I was getting kind of a little bit fed up. Um, with some of its some of the problems here and there were really kind of adding up um, for me personally, but um, That that is uh, like rejuvenated me Re Reinvigorated my 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 desire to get finish this series um, So we got a little bit of money. We got some stash coordinates and now we have a new mission meet with Xenotech Thanks you gave me a new task. Appreciate you, bud. So yeah, you can buy, um, I mean, these, uh, where, uh, I guess this guy doesn't have, like, the most robust, uh, like, um, inventory, but I think you should, you should always buy these. These are always useful, especially in the late game when you want to, uh, you, you want to make some more stuff. I guess I gave this guy, no, I, I haven't given this guy anything, so he's got, like, very basic supplies. Um, definitely buy glue because that stuff is useful uh, like personally at I think at a certain level you, you can you can pretty much buy everything I'm gonna buy this because these are always in demand I always have a need for those um, but I'm good for everything else is there any work you want done you want another PMM or something location in cordon no thanks um, anything else you want basic tools so I haven't done that uh, any, anything else? You want a weapon? Anything else? You want me to eliminate some mercenaries? So never mind. Um, new mission, meet with Xenotech. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bar real quick. And if Xenotech is someone that I've already got a, uh, a waypoint near, 
then we'll go ahead and do that and then i'll probably end the episode there um think okay yeah our our food is starting to spoil the reason i haven't cooked the food is because we're missing um i don't th i think we have fuel do i have fuel no i don't have fuel that's why we haven't cooked it okay so i do want to cook my food as if it matters to you like it it doesn't really matter at all in the grand scheme of things but um i i am conscientious about these things like these games game, this game has um set some very hardcore habits for me that i am it's gonna i would I, i'm not gonna get rid of them anytime soon do you have any new, other routes no no you don't have any routes okay pretty sure that guy sells you all of the most important routes in the game and i've already bought them all hey dude nice nice ue you did there i appreciate that job is done i don't know what job kill the stalker okay other job is done Got some money. Very good. Uh, any other work you want done? Retrieve the encrypted documents in Yantar. Uh, I might have some encrypted documents that I can give. Destroy the mutants. Chimera hide. Nope. Oh, you don't want horns or anything like that or claws. Chimera hides are, are pretty um, scarce. So we're going to be using cars for now. Um, I did find out, by the way, there is a anomaly disrupting device that you can put on your belt, which I think would be useful. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sell all of our stuff. This is probably something I should have done a long time ago, which was to sell, <laughs> actually set the stuff that I want to sell as junk so that it automatically puts it in the freaking junk part. Like, I, I, I you know, I don't know. I guess... I'm a slow learner and I'm, I'm glad that people have patience with me because I definitely feel like certain things um, take me way too long to figure out. Um, so I, I appreciate that people have patience for me um, when it comes to some of these things. I'm going to buy some stuff and we're going to cook some food, whatever food I have left. Let me see here. Cook. Oh man, it's so nice not having to wait for him to cook the freaking food. And uh, sorry, sorry, uh, dude, but I am going to drop my garbage on your floor. Um, all right, so let's see who we're meeting. Where is this Xenotech? Sounds like he would be um, at the uh, mobile science base, but it doesn't look like it. He is instead. Where is this guy? Where, where is Zen? Oh, he's at the farm? No way, dude. Really? Man, it always comes back to the farm. All roads lead back to farm. I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking today is going to be a good recording day. Now, I, I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a new sense of, of, like, purpose. Now that the, these crafting animations and cooking animations are gone. So I, I'm thinking I might play this game uh, to completion today. Let's see if we can't finish the game today. Um, not that I'm going to speed, you know, try and rush it or anything, but like I, I do sense that we're kind of getting to uh, the late game. I've been saying that for a while. I don't know where the late game is. I've never played Stalker, so I'm not sure where where it begins and ends. Oh my god, dude. Okay, you're you're a good guy. Do you want to join me? Sure. Cool. You're gonna die, dude. You have 100% joined the wrong dude. Hey, friend. I've come to see you. Uh, rescue missing stalker. Location in the east, the great swamp northeast of the old church. Oh, God. That church really is, uh, storied, isn't it? Uh, my head could use some repairs, so let's go ahead and repair my head a little bit. And, uh, heal up. That is a tremendous waste of a car. Um, can we make some surgical tools while we're here? Medical. Oh, we can't make surgical tools? It's like the only thing I don't seem to be able to make. Um, I can make this, but I don't want to. I do have a second pseudo giant elixir now, by the way. 
I don't know if I, I mentioned that. So uh, I'm going to call the episode here. And uh, why not? We're going to go to Clear Sky Base because I think that's a better way to approach um, the church. Uh, and if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content. And thank you so much again um, for that tip for uh, removing the animations. It really, really, really helps. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.